Okay, so update to my update of the review that I did for the dupe skates. And this is something that I did not, I was not aware of. I guess I didn't look deeply enough into videos that other people have done. But yeah, it was brought to my attention today that there is a way to fix the lever situation that that happens when you have the dupe skates. So uh, apparently these came with the skates. I just assumed they were just for the brake and that was it, like to add the brake on. But since I don't use the brake, I just tossed them to the side and I was like, okay, well I don't need these. But I didn't realize that apparently there is something in there that can be used to remove the lever and take the place of that lever, which means this uh, shock pad or shock absorber pad can go. So yeah, dupe discoveries. This piece right here, the shock absorber that I cut off so it wouldn't hurt or whatever, I didn't, I, I didn't even, I didn't need it. All I needed to do was remove the back wheel, which I'm going to do right now. Maybe is it the back wheel? Maybe it's both wheels. Both, both back wheels I'm gonna have to remove because there's a little, a little part that sticks out, which I think is connected to the lever. Once I remove the lever, I'm going to replace it with. Silly me! I get, I get, I send out for stuff, and I don't even really look at the stuff that I get. I just say, oh, I don't need that. And yeah, I did. Okay, so this part, and they, oh, it came with tools too. Cool. This is the brake, which I don't need. I, I don't need a brake. I know how to, how to brake. I'm not a beginner. I've been skating for like 20 something years. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay, so cool. We got some angles here. We got some uh, Allen wrenches, tools. This, I, this is. I know. I was thinking that I wanted to get a tool. I had no. I, I didn't realize I already had one. It came in this. Okay, so <laughs> here's the deal. Apparently this is the plate and I I looked it up and sure enough it was in there and shout out to Auntie I think I've said that right because he's the one that brought it to my attention about the he just got a pair of dupe skates all the way from Finland so, so he got a pair and he was also noticing you know little things and he saw my review and he contacted me, which I'm glad he did because if he wouldn't have done that, I, I would not have been able to, to figure out how to fix this. So thank you. I thanked you before, but I'm thanking you again. So okay, what I'm gonna do is remove these back two wheels, take the lever out, and then uh, attempt to put this in its place and bolt it down. So that should keep it from moving and I won't have that, that, you know, really, really hard metal, uncomfortable plate is digging into me because actually from my last dupe discovery that I did, I was trying to use different shoes. These are the only shoes that I can use. I've used them so much that I'm actually like, I'm starting to wear a hole in the back part of them, so I'm going to have to uh, use different shoes, and there's no way I could do it if I, didn't, if I don't do this, so I will be back. I'm going to do this. I will come back, and I will show you what, what happens. Okay, so I did the first skate already. I did the other one, so now I'm going to do this one, and the first thing you want to do is remove this thing because you don't you're not gonna need it. And take off the back two wheels. So you can 
get to that spot. Oh, this is the one that's messed up. I have, oh no, I spoke too soon. Or did I? Yeah, there's, there's one, I forgot to mention this, there's one back wheel that gets stuck. And it's this one. To just mess with it till it gets out. Yeah. I don't know if it's like a fucked up bolt. I think it's all crooked or something in the inside that it gets stuck. I'm trying to remove this wheel. It's the back wheel on the left skate. So yeah, thanks a lot, Power Slide. Thanks a lot. I have a bitch of a time every time I have to rotate my wheels because of that wheel getting stuck every time. So I figured that one out later. I figured that one out when I started trying to uh, rotate wheels. That was a nice surprise. Okay, so there is a stopper back here. And you have to pull the lever back so that you can get it to spin. And you use this tool to hold this in place or spin it. I think I was spinning it. That's right. It's easier to spin. Oh, there's a big long screw in there. And there's a plate with <laughs> And there's a plate with the lever, and that's what pulls it back and all that good stuff. Now here is the piece I'm going to replace it with, and I'm going to put, oh, is it this one? Yeah, this one. I'm going to put this underneath it, and I'm going to wedge this, or put this on top. And there's another little baby screw, like a really tiny one that you can put, the, it's, it's included, and you can like make sure that it's double tight down and it's not going to move, and I'm not going to do that. I don't, I don't have a power drill. You need a power drill for that. So I'm just going to do it the, the lazy way. I'm going to put... Okay, finally, I got it. I got... It wasn't easy. This one was hard. I had to hold it down. Okay, so, now I'm going to put the wheels back on. Yeah, I had to get down and dirty. I had to get down on the ground to do that last one because it just was not something I could do at this angle. This is not where I usually do stuff. I use this table for my chiptune music when I play live. And and other things, but not not like assembling stuff. I've never used it for for that. I'm not very good at using it for that. I'm more a girl on the floor type chick. For doing mechanic work, I guess. I don't. Okay. 
Okay. So yeah, what's up? What are you doing? How are you spending your Thursday night? I think it's Thursday. By the time I upload this, it'll be another day. This is the one I have fun with. This is the one that gets stuck. Power slide. It's this side that gets stuck, yeah. I asked my brother what that was, because he's, uh... <sighs> he has skated with me all the years I've skated. And he told me he called it mushrooming out. He was like, that bolt is mushrooming out. Which I, I guess I would think that means like bowing or like expanding outward, like kind of exploding, I guess. And, uh, yeah. Bad product, power slide. Not very good quality of materials. I don't know what that, that saves you money or something. But it sucks for me. Okay. So now it should be on there. Um, it stopped raining. So maybe I will try this out. If the I'm going to wait for it to dry off a little bit, and if I can, I'll test it and see how it works. And hopefully, I'll be able to use any kind of shoe now, so I won't have this lever thing tearing up my heel, because that's what it was doing. It was just, uh, yeah, not good. Anyway, yeah. So these are these are my new discoveries of dupe, my uh, updated dupe discoveries. I hope it helps you. I, if, I mean, it, it was information that I know I needed to have because I was on, at my wits' ends thinking, what kind of shoe am I gonna get? As I already did the drama of trying to out different shoes, and if if uh, I was coming down to, I was gonna have to buy another pair of shoes that I wasn't ready to go and buy because I have so many already so I can just use what I have now hopefully we'll see I gotta test it first and see how it goes but thanks for watching um, subscribe comment if you want to comment like it if you like it don't like it if you don't like it and you're not gonna hurt my feelings and uh, if you skate keep skating because it's good for you They are totally better now. They are a lot more lighter and more comfortable. And I no longer have to worry about what kind of shoe I'm going to wear. I can wear any kind of shoes now. They don't hurt. So yeah, good dupe discovery. Awesome.